When it comes to what type of pitch a, a athlete should be throwing, uh, that's a thing we talk a lot about at Rapsodo. Uh, when it comes to building an arsenal, um, you know, how many pitches that player will be throwing, uh, maybe pitch design on it's the off season and you're trying to sharpen a pitch. Uh, it's most common to try to pair those pitches based off of the pitches already in the arsenal. So if it's a fastball, for example, where that athlete throws a spin direction fastball that's high efficient around 12 o'clock, uh, what the data would tell us is that a pitch that would mirror that would create the biggest movement difference in profile uh, for their arsenal. So for example, if that pitch is at 12 o'clock, uh, a pitch that may mirror that well would be a 12-6 curveball um, that would be spinning more at 6 o'clock. Because as we add more sweep to that pitch, um, that's where you, you change it from going from 6 o'clock for a righty, maybe it's more to like 7, again, on a face of a clock. Um, so mirroring those pitches, we see that quite often, even at the highest level. Um, another example is we see a lot of hard velocity pitchers in baseball uh, pair a slider so that that looks the same out of the hand. Um, and when the hitter recognizes the gyro spin or the sweeping spin on that slider, um, it's too late and it's falling off the table. Um, so like a hard velocity slider could pair well with a high velocity fastball. Um, we also see when it comes to change-ups, um, a really a, a common change-up we've seen over the last few years is like a, what's considered a frisbee change-up. Um, what that means is just creating, you know, from backspin, uh, creating a side spin pitch, so it's spinning like a disc of a frisbee. Um, we see that be a very common change-up that creates a lot of deception and some arm side run. Uh, but also, I think more on the traditional side, you hear a lot of coaches, a lot of players that are just looking to perfectly mirror their fastball uh, with their change-up. So that out of the hand, it looks the same, but whatever grip that player is utilizing, it's killing some RPMs so that ball can drop more because it's lower spin rate, and also killing some velocity so that pitch has a different movement profile than their fastball does. It's a really common question when getting started with Rapsodo is what fastball is right for each player. Uh, one thing we can talk about that we've seen at the MLB level over the last few years um, is the value of a 12 o'clock spin fastball. Um, so when you get started with Rapsodo and you look at our data guides and you start to understand and dive into the data, uh, we measure the spin direction by the face of a clock. So if a ball is spinning uh, directly at 12 o'clock, uh, that means that it would be pure backspin, like a ball out of a pitching machine. As you start to rotate that, for like a right-hander, it's all out of the pitcher's point of view. You start to rotate towards one o'clock till you get to all the way to side spin, which would be three o'clock. Um, so one of the places to start with the fastball is understanding what spin direction um, that, that's gonna be natural out of your arm slot. Uh, when looking at the fastball spin direction, uh, it's best to stay close to side spin um, or back spin. Uh, what we call in the middle is what we kind of call the dead zone. Uh, what a hitter sees most commonly is a pitch from like a three-quarter traditional slot that's spinning from a right-hander close to like 130, so they're splitting their horizontal vertical break. Whereas a hitter sees so many pitches at 130 spin direction, uh, that's what their eyes tend to see. Um, so as a pitcher, you can create more deception by leaning towards uh, maximizing backspin or maximizing more side spin. Uh, this is not a you know, cookie cutter approach. It's gonna be based off of where each player toes the rubber, what their arm slot naturally is, and what type of spin they can create from their natural mechanics.